Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back to the channel. Coming at you live from the man cave today because, honestly, sometimes it's just nice to sit down with a nice microphone and talk to you guys and not have to do any editing. I can do everything on the computer right here, show you all the stuff I want to show you, and be on my way and get back to making more content. And in terms of content, I know for the last probably seven or eight months, the most of what you've seen from me has been short form content. And it's for a very good reason as a project that I've been working on for the last year that I'm gonna introduce to you guys if you haven't seen it yet, some really exciting stuff. But before I get into that, I wanted to talk about what you guys can expect from Scott Herman Fitness over the course of the next few months. Obviously we have holidays coming up, Thanksgiving, Christmas, New Year's, and of course, January 1st, 2023. What's your goal gonna be? How are you gonna achieve that goal? And how are you gonna stay motivated? And what I've been noticing, especially this year, right? What this whole COVID thing did to a lot of people was force them to stay home. And what we've seen is this massive influx of influencers creating content, which isn't a bad thing, but it's not totally a good thing either because there is so much content now available at your fingertips that I'm sure a lot of you guys watching this video either feel lost or you feel confused because you're seeing a lot of conflicting videos telling you what to do, what not to do, or this special trick, or that special, you know, this is the secret to getting big, this is the secret to getting ripped, here's a new chest exercise you've never seen before, but it works better than any other exercise you've ever done. It's just a lot of this type of misinformation that's coming out because now, I mean, let's face it, we live in a content-driven society, and it was never really like this. I mean, granted, you know, we as creators had to keep up with the YouTube algorithm, but the YouTube algorithm now has basically made it that to where if you're not a slave constantly making content on a daily basis, you're going to fall out of the algorithm and then you're going to get stressed out, then you're going to have anxiety, then you're going to have depression. Like, I don't know, if you're not a creator, maybe you might not understand this, but it's like... Even for a long time myself, and this started about a year or two years ago, like the amount of pressure you feel to consistently make content and make new videos and all these different things to continue to gain subscribers and get likes, like it's just, it's gotten to the point to where it's too much and it starts to pull you away from why you started creating content to begin with. And for me, the reason why I started creating content way back in 2008, 2009, was to make videos to help people reach their goals. I wasn't making videos to keep up with an algorithm, I was making videos specifically to help people reach their goals. And what's funny is 10 years ago, short form content was great, right? My original videos are all one to two minute how-to videos where basically I would go in my gym at you know 10 o'clock at night when it was closed and I would film how to do every single exercise in my gym for the sole purpose of helping my members, because I was the general manager at the time, stay in the gym and know how to work out if they couldn't afford a personal trainer. And then long form content became a thing and then now it's like you're making these massive scripts just to keep up with an algorithm. You know, it's kind of like when you're in school and your teacher's like, you have an eight page report due on Friday. And you're like, well I can do it in four pages. Why do I have to do eight pages? And it's like, cause that's the rule. You know, and then you mess with the font and the line spacing. You guys all know what I'm talking about. But, you know, being tied to these guidelines that these social media apps put you on, sometimes it just takes away from why you started creating to begin with. And so since I started working on this other project, again, which I'll show you guys in a second. It's really cool. Um, you know, it kind of helped me reset my brain. And that's why you guys have been seeing a lot of short form content from me. Shorts have been doing really well. I've been having fun with the skits and there's just information I wanna get out there that's relatively quick and easy to digest and that's what I wanted to put out for you. And so as we move into November, December, the majority of what you're gonna see from me is probably gonna be shorts. In fact, I'm working on a series right now where it's gonna be in and out of the gym, 30 minute workouts so that if you do have a program right now and you're short on time, you know, whether you're traveling or you're visiting family or your job got crazy or you just had a baby, whatever the, the, it might be, right? Around this time of year, especially, time gets very short. So what I'm doing is I'm creating literally 30-minute workouts, one to two body pots. So you can go to the gym, hit it, and leave 
and not feel like, you know, you didn't work out that day. Because a lot of us will kind of, we'll demotivate ourselves mentally because we'll get to the gym knowing our workout's going to take an hour, but we only have 20 to 30 minutes. And so then you just kind of like, what am I supposed to do? Well, these workouts are going to help with that. And then of course, obviously, if you guys need a full program, you can go to my website. You can go down here, go to muscularstrength.com. Uh, view all programs, and I have a ton of programs that you can choose from that are 12-week programs. So the workouts are about an hour, you know, maybe 60 to 90 minutes at max. All different styles of training. So whether you like to do crazy heavy weight, that's my cheat and recover program. If you like to do full body, I have a full body program. If you prefer five-day splits, which is my favorite way to train, I have that. Push-pull legs, body weight edition, you can do that at home. Regular push-pull legs, and then Guaranteed Gains, which is a completely free program that you can download right now, go to the gym, and the gains are guaranteed. It's in the name. But why would I even put a name like Guaranteed Gains on a program, right? Like, that might be a little forward of me. Well, it's because these programs, you know, it's not rocket science. There is a very specific way that you can train and guarantee results. And what is that? Well, it's by sticking to compound movements and exercise that have been proven to be staples in workout programs since the beginning of bodybuilding, right? Like you're never going to replace the classics. You're never going to replace a bent over row, a squat, a bench press, a pull up, you know, shrug, shoulder press. These are all exercises that should always be incorporated into your workout programs. And unfortunately, with such massive demand on content creators, we've lost sight of a lot of these things. And you mix that in with all the drugs and the TRT and the testosterone and PEDs, all that shit combined with a lot of this, it's just, it's a recipe for disaster. And it's been for a while now, but programs on my website are designed to get you in the gym, get you a great workout, get you in a phenomenal shape. You know, this isn't average workouts, guys. These are workouts that will get you in phenomenal shape. They've kept me in amazing shape my whole life. Just turned 38 years old, feeling great, looking young. And why? Because they stick to the basics. And so if you need a full program, go to my website, musculostrength.com. Try any of my programs for free just by signing up and clicking the link. Um, I'm actually updating my app right now to make even finding like um exercise form videos like on youtube i have thousands of videos on exercise form and i also have a ton of just like one-off routines for biceps or chest or back or shoulders or legs all of that's going to be organized by body pot on my app i mean it is now but i'm simplifying it even more and you'll see that when we get there so i'm going to be focusing on these quick in and out of the gym, they're going to be one-minute shorts, but they're 30-minute workouts. I basically kind of just figured out how many, how long it will take to do the sets and reps as I'm putting the workout together. And then that way, if you're stuck, you can go to the gym, get it done, leave, and you're good to go. Uh, but, you know, aside from all of this, what I have been working on for the past year has been a mobile tower defense game. And a lot of you guys are going to be like, what? I thought you were a fitness guy. Why are you working on a mobile tower defense game? Well, that's why I'm in my second office. If you guys, I'll, I'll go back to my, my big screen over here. If you take a look around, you might notice that your boy is a bit of a nerd and he collects a lot of crap. And this is just the tip of the iceberg. You know, huge into anime, huge into gaming. In fact, my two passions in life has always been fitness in gaming, and I'm hoping to find a way. Well, I have found a way, but I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna give away my idea to combine those, and you're gonna see that relatively soon. But if you guys want to check out what I've been working on for the past year, it's a mobile game called uh, WagMeGame.io is the website. It's an aliens versus humans tower defense game, and so I'll play a little clip for you guys from our beta. We're in a, a testing beta right now on test flight. We're going to be basically the first downloadable app in the iOS and Android store where you can download, play the game, and you can purchase all the in-game assets, which are the characters and the skins and the weapons, with your credit card. In other words, they're called NFTs, but we call them in-game assets because that's what they really are. And all that does is it just gives you ownership over your characters so you can level them up, you can trade them, you can give them away, you can sell them on a secondary market. It's the future of gaming. 
And so I've been working on this for, like I said, about a year now, and we're getting pretty close to launch. We're going to be launching our public beta probably towards the end of December, early January. And for those of you who'd like to check it out, you can go to the website. I'll post the link down in the info section below, and you can click register now, and you can get into uh, the public beta when that drops. And so the website, we actually just redid it a couple weeks ago, and even more excitingly, we have our full-length uh, trailer right here with an original song that my buddy Noah actually created. And I'll let you guys go to the website here and watch this on your own. But I should mention that GameStop actually tweeted out our trailer a few weeks ago on November 3rd. It's got about 22,000 views on their page right now. So this isn't some small thing, I guess. This is what I'm trying to get the point at, guys. This isn't some small thing that I just decided to start working on and that's been eating up a lot of my time. You know, I kind of just, uh, I saw what was happening uh, it, on just on social media in general, and just this the massive influx of creators all coming to the space, and it's like uh, I wanted to take some time to focus on something that I haven't had a chance to focus on, and I've always wanted to get more involved in gaming. And what's actually really cool and interesting about gaming, you guys might not know, a lot of gamers are super into fitness now. Because in order to literally stream six to eight hours a day, sometimes longer, you have to be healthy or else you, your cognitive, cognitive abilities just start to, you know, diminish over the course of those six to eight hours. Like you have to have a healthy body and a healthy mind in order to game that long. So a lot of gamers take their fitness very seriously. And so there is opportunity there for me as a gamer and obviously a, a huge passion for fitness to find a way to make those work. But you know, GameStop dropped our trailer here uh, a couple weeks ago. We are backed by Google. In fact, Google has actually made us their case study on how to create, launch, and market a crypto game. Google, guys! Google has made us their case study on how to launch uh, a crypto game with uh, purchasable NFTs inside. In fact, I actually had a call with Apple about a week ago and we have their full backing and support to get on the App Store. So like everything we're doing here is ju it's just insane, you know. And this is just a tip of the iceberg. I don't want to um, overload you guys with too much information, but if you want to check out more or see anything, you can go to the website. Uh, you can follow me on Twitter. I basically use my Twitter mainly for my game here, guys. So just go to Twitter. My Twitter is Scott underscore Herman. You'll see that right there, but. We're getting pretty close to launch. You know, the UI is looking really great. We're actually rigging our characters um, uh, in motion caption, motion mocap suits. So the educational part of our game where we're talking to gamers is going to be our characters coming to life and then using those to do our education. Uh, we have a comic book that's dropping uh, in about a couple weeks, probably first or second week of December. So, like, we're not just a game. There's actually a story. There's lore. Uh, and you can read about all the characters on our website. In fact, actually, here's our comic book right here. Something really cool that I'm excited about. Actually, let me show you this. So, uh, in our game, when you unlock a new card, right, you'll have these um, animations that play that show you what the card is and what the attack pattern looks like. Uh, hold on one second. It's going to go. There it is. So, like, you just unlock the Obix, Obix Fighter. Boom, now you have that and you can put it in your deck. So it's like a really serious project. And then so I'm having this uh, the suit created for our human emperor. His name is Malik Toss. And I managed to find this guy. His name is Jaeger Mando. Check out his cosplay. This guy actually did a ton of Star Wars stuff for Disney. Uh, Q lines, you know, when you're waiting in line at Disney World and Universal. He's done a lot of props. And done a lot of those lines for that. He actually built the the Rebel Hangar here. I think it's in Hollywood. Yeah, Hollywood Studios. So he's actually making us uh, a full scale suit of our human emperor. He's he's doing the helmet right now to show us what it's going to look like. But um, you know, we want to go to comic cons or gaming conventions. Hopefully, get big enough to do esports and just do stuff like this. Like this is going to be really freaking cool. And so. That's what I've been working on. Things have been getting pretty serious. And I hate, you know, to, to use that as an excuse to for the reason why I've been doing a lot more 
short form content in, in terms of, of shorts, but at the end of the day, like my style has always been to just get to the point, right? Granted, this video is 15 minutes long, but in terms of teaching you guys fitness information, you know, like I'm very good at just do this, do that, you know, uh, position your body this way and you're good to go. There's no need to really go so deep into the science or form correction. I mean, granted, there, there is a time and place for it if you want to learn more and educate yourself. But for those of you guys just literally trying to go to the gym and want some guidance to do things correctly, it shouldn't be, you know, a 40 minute conversation. It should just be like, OK, here's your workout plan. Here's the best exercises to build the most amount of muscle or here's the best exercises to train hard and lose the most amount of weight. Here's how much cardio you should be doing. Here's how much protein you should be eating. Go and, and go at it and you'll see results. Right. So to expect from me what you should be expecting from me over the course of the next you know, couple months leading into January, more short form content. Uh, revision of my app coming out soon. And then, of course, if you're into gaming and you want to keep up with what I'm doing there, I mean, that I can't talk too much about because we're unveiling things as we go along. But I would really appreciate all of your support, you know, especially when it com comes time to beta testing. Again, you can click register now and sign up for our wait list and be one of the first people to download us from the iOS and Android store. So if you guys have any questions, um, leave them down in the comment section below. As you know, I'm probably one of the very, 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 very few YouTubers with over you know, a few million subscribers that actually reads and responds to the comments. So I'll see you guys down there below. Tap that like button. And as always, more good stuff coming soon. See you guys.